As I turn 26 years of age today, um, thank you for all the birthday wishes if you sent me any type of love. I'm super appreciative of it. I decided to do something different today. I just wanted to get on camera and talk to people. You know, a couple of my close friends told me some really important news in their lives over the last few days, and I'm sure they're going to tell you what's going on sooner rather than later. But it kind of made me think a little bit. And on one side of the fence, you're happy for your friends, but on the other side, you're kind of discouraged at the same time because you're not around your friends to personally be there and share some of these moments, some of the happiest times in people's lives with them. You're not able to celebrate these moments with people. And it kind of got me down a little bit. Um, I got a lot of relationships. I got a lot of friendships. Uh, I don't get to talk to everyone any, you know, as, as much as I used to in the past because I've decided to give so much of my time and energy to YouTube. YouTube works for my business, growing a news network. YouTube is the right algorithm for me. So most of my time, day in, day out, is on that daily grind to get content out there. And it's kind of taking me away from the world. So I'm not able to talk to a lot of my family members, a lot of my close friends either. I don't get to talk to them that often anymore because I've just dedicated my life to figuring this business out. The positive is the business grows. The negative is you lose connection with people and you kind of get out of the loop of their lives and it could be really discouraging but i hope you take the time to watch this video and i hope you receive the message that i'm about to give you because i genuinely mean this and it's the vibe that i've been on you know so much of my life has been predicated on proving the haters wrong proving the doubters wrong and just kind of using that as fuel to the fire at this point in my life with everything going around with my mama still working my little brother looking at me I'm no longer motivated by haters. That's not even the motivating factor for me. I'm, I got too much going on. I got too many people that are looking for me to figure some things out uh, in the future. So I'm motivated by enough. I don't need any more motivating factors. And I'm for darn sure not motivated by haters anymore. You know, too much time, we're worried about people who don't understand your vision, don't understand your goals, don't understand how you're going to fulfill your dreams. And... I want people to stop giving the time and the energy to people who don't understand your dreams or your goals. Let me just break this down. You can't get mad at somebody who doesn't want to invest time, money, or energy into your business. Maybe they have weighed all the pros and cons of investing in you. And for them, it just didn't make sense. There's nothing wrong with that person doing that. And, and coming up with the conclusion that investing in you and believing in your business or believing in your idea or your future doesn't make sense. They've did all the homework that they can do. They've done the research. They got data. They think they know you. You can't get mad at somebody for feeling like they did all the investigative journalism or investigation uh, that they could, any type of investigation they could to figure out, should I invest my time, energy, effort, belief in your dreams? They got every factor out there. They know the X factor why they shouldn't believe in you, the Y factor why they shouldn't invest in you. They got everything right. The only thing that they didn't factor in, the only letter was the U factor. They went with you them late nights in the gym when you was working trying to figure it out, whatever your gym is. They don't know your pain. They don't know what you've been through. They don't know what motivates you. They don't know what, why you're going so hard and why you're hustling and what's at stake for you figuring out your dreams. Don't get mad at people for not investing into you, your dreams, your passions, or whatever. They did all the homework they could do. You actually should thank them. They did their research. Everything that they researched tells them that you're a bad investment. The thing is, there's no way for them to research the you factor. That's the only difference. They had X, Y. And any other factor out there except one letter, they didn't have the U.